Hello crafting adventurers! Welcome back to the channel. It's May and for the month of May I wanted to focus on miniature books and journals and we can do a lot with doing things very small. Here's a mint tin to give you an idea of how small I mean. Let's see what's in this tin. These are all books that I've created. Some are, are um, out of old maps. This one is actually a necklace. It has a very cool dragon eye embedded into the front leather. Some are from magazines uh, out of one piece of paper. I'm going to be demonstrating on how to do this, meaning um, you can just basically create anywhere you are and you can find a piece of paper. This one's a more detailed Coptic stitch mini sketchbook using watercolor paper. All of those fit into this little mint tin. Here's some more samples of some mini books that I've done. This one's another little one out of leather. Super cute. You could have a little storybook in here, little sketches. Nice things about the mini books is they can be tucked away in a pocket or a purse and be pulled out and used at any time. I love miniature journals. Here's another cool one that I'll demonstrate how to make in the month of May. It actually folds open. It kind of turns into a nice star shape. And with these ones, we actually hang them on our tree at Christmas time and fill them with Christmas memories. So that's an idea. You could give it to someone for a birthday present or just fill it with your own memories. Tuck it away. So cute, so small. Another little journal. And this one is just an accordion fold journal. I'll show how to make all of these types of journals. Oops, upside down. Super simple. Nice and small though. Love it. Another leather journal. This one looks like an adventure in itself. So a bit of long stitching on the side. And some really nice vintage papers I used here to match the brown leather. And details like adding a little bit of a cover, uh, colored paper to the last signature, I really like. Uh, it doesn't take away from the simple uh, papers at the beginning of the book, but it just adds a little something into the book without being too crazy. I really like that subtle effect. This is a suede cord and as usual a wax linen thread. Here's another little fun journal. A little, little bee stamped on the edge of it. And this is really just a whole bunch of random scraps that I cut to the same size and glued down on the spine with some white glue. Took a while to dry and then it turned it into a little book. So although some of these pages might be harder to write on, they're fun to flip through. You could easily add words onto another piece of paper, stick it in there, cut out photos, put them in there. And uh, this is a really nice, I think I believe it came from India, this paper. It's really nice feeling handmade paper. So anyway, these are the types of books I am going to be showing you how to make in May. Mini books. Mini books are amazing to give away, to keep, whatever you want to do. It will help you record your ordinary, everyday adventures. And I hope you stick around and watch some of the videos. I'll post at least one a week in May on the different ways to make miniature books. And I'll probably come up with some other ideas as well as just these ones. Probably a mini junk journal. And using the jelly press, uh, print, print press to get different aspects of um, color and texture into the book pages. I hope you join me. If you, if you like this idea, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and hit the no notification bell so you won't miss out on how to create your own mini journals.